evaluate evaluate this limit so if we directly plug in x equals 0 we get 0 times 3 raised to 0 which is 1 and 0 times 1 is 0 that's on the top on the bottom 3 raised to 0 is 1 minus 1 that's 0 so we get 0 over 0 that means we can apply L'Hopital's rule to evaluate the limit. So I'm writing L H just to uh, just pointing out I'm applying this rule. Okay. Uh, for that, what we have to do is we just find the derivative of bottom on the bottom and derivative of top on the top. Oh, some thin number raised to x. That's an exponential function. And we know that when we have a number raised to x, exponential function, its derivative is itself times natural log of base, which is a. We have that. On the top, oh, we got a product. So we need to use the product rule. Okay. So let me do the bottom because it's easier. Derivative of 3 raised to x is using this rule we get 3x times ln 3 minus derivative of 1 is 0 minus 0 we don't have to write that on the top we need to use the product rule so when we have u and v let's say u times v we find derivative that's u prime v plus v prime u Okay, that means derivative of x, which is 1, times 3x, minus derivative of 3x. What we have here, using this rule, so derivative of 3 raised to x is 3x ln 3. That's v prime times u, u is x, times x. Uh, let's simplify, then we try to plug in x equals 0 okay uh, bottom we have nothing to do just 3 raised to x ln 3 ln 3 is a decimal number by the way on the top we got two terms 3 raised to x here 3 raised to x here as well so we can factor 3 raised to x out uh, that leaves 1 or nothing. It's 1 times 3 raised to x is in fact 3 raised to x. When we take out, nothing leaves. That means 1 minus 3 raised to x is outside. A factor out. That leaves ln 3x. ln 3 is a number, decimal number times x. Let me put it. Decimal number x. Okay. So we simplified the top. Pretty much we factored 3 raised to x out. How does that help? Now 3x times everything and 3x times everything here. Now we can cancel. We could not cancel here because we they were in difference. Okay, this is one, this minus this. But here, after we factor out, we can cancel. So that leaves this limit is limit x going to zero of one minus ln three x all over ln 3 we cannot cancel these two okay because this is minus sign here ln 3 is in fact a decimal number so if we plug in 0 I mean there is nothing to plug in here we are not gonna get 0 over 0 unlike in the previous step so we are done now we just have to plug in x equals 0 uh, which is here and we get the final answer so 1 minus ln 3 is a decimal number times 0. So 0 times a number is 0. So 1 minus 0 is just 1. So just 1 on the top. All over ln 3, there is nothing to plug in, which is a decimal number, ln 3. Uh, no need to put parentheses, by the way. ln 3, final. 1 over ln 3 is the final answer.